my boys, how many L's does it take for one to become a god? Well, I don't know the exact number, but at the end of the day, all it takes is your boy two hours of dueling live to achieve god status in Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega. My boys, I'm YT Dan, back at it again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today we're gonna be getting in there with the new Gladiator Beast Dragoon deck. YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by These Dank Duelists. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. All right, my boys. I came into playing the YGO Omega game. If you don't already know what this is, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG simulator that I've been using to get my Master Rule game on. Playing in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG versus Duel Links, there is a huge world of difference okay there isn't necessarily a very hard or uh unassailable skill gap i would say that there's just a few mechanics that you have to learn i think anybody can make the transition but once you make the transition over there is a lot of shocking shockingly powerful cards out there and archetypes and things that you've never heard of or seen before like think about it like this my boy when you're playing that rpg that you really enjoy or that rpg that you never heard of and you're playing through the game and story parts are revealed gameplay is revealed and it's all exciting because it's brand new and you don't even know if you can handle it well that's what it's like coming from Duel Links coming to the TCG. Now, when I came to the TCG, I came from playing Legacy of the Duelist, and I was using a very low power Gladiator Beast deck. Now that I know what I know now, based on the meta, your boy has taking the Gladiator Beast deck back to the lab to innovate it yet again, and now we can run that dank Dragoon Beast, along with all the other Gladiator Beast cards that become cheat the game. <laughs> After the live stream, I started to play with a more advanced deck and I learned a couple new techniques and I was actually able to get somebody to get so disgusted in the ranked uh, PVP version that I got a time limit dub and that felt really good. So I knew that I was on the right track to creating a truly broken deck. But one more maniac had to play Eldridge Dragoon on me again. And um, the next maniac played Cyber Dragon um, Dragoon on me. And after I got hit with Dragoon mixed into something else two times, I thought, well, you know what? I can incorporate Dragoon into the Gladiator Beast deck along with my new techniques and I'll be unstoppable. Let's look at the deck list, my boy. All right, my boys, we are in the deck editor right now, and this is my Gladiator Beast deck 2.0. So the thing that I wanna point out here that I learned from playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links to come into the TCG is that the splash ability of Maniac Strategies, okay? Now, it's easy in a 20 card deck to forget that you can hide a couple little extra secrets in your deck and not run into a brick. And what do I mean by that? If you play three cards in your main deck and two cards in your extra deck, you can have access to a very powerful negation package. So the first card I wanna talk about is Predator Plant Verte Anaconda. Now, a lot of people might know about this card already if you are already a TCG aficionado. However, this is a powerful card that I had no idea existed until yesterday. This card is a one card, one card link summon monster. Well, you need two cards to make it, but I'm saying like this is a single card by itself. You pay 2000 freaking life points and you can activate basically a fusion spell from your deck. This is so stupid. Now what's crazy about this is, it's not activating it from the deck, it's copying the effect and sending it to the graveyard. Then you use Red Eye's Fusion's effect 
to fuse the monster and fuse the dark magician and the red eyes from the deck and send those to the grave. So with the link summon of this card, right? You can instantly send these three bricks out of your deck to summon one of the strongest negators in the game. Also, this card can, can't be targeted. He can destroy your opponent's stuff and deal direct damage. It's, it's absolutely bananas. So this card is so good that this deck kind of begs for it to be added. Because what's awesome about this deck is that we can summon and a tremendous amount of powerful negators on the first turn and follow that up with Appaloosa. And we also have outs to a Dragoon play because now we're using additional World Legacy Successions so that we can go into Lib and then from Lib, we can go into Access Code Talker um, after of course baiting things out because you can get a lot of summons off in this game and kind of get around your opponent's cards. So if we can go to live to access Cold Talker, we can actually beat over a Dragoon, but hopefully we don't get to that point because we'll just negate everything and prevent Dragoon from even hitting the field. So additional changes that I made to this deck, I decided to use both Rescue Cat and Rescue Rabbit. Now at first I forgot the Rescue Cat works with the Gladiator Beast deck. I forgot that you can Rescue Cat into Test Tiger and Sam Knight. Now, I think if I, if memory serves me correct, I think this card originally did not negate the effects, but now it does negate the effects or something like that. Cause I remember back in the day using Rescue Cat to go into Test Tiger, uh, to two Test Tigers back in the day. And I remember using the effects back in the day, but I know that uh, something, I think something changed. I think it got nerfed and they made it negate the effects but that doesn't matter because rescue cat is a one card into our test panther so glad so this goes one card into test panther plus if you unexpected die you already have a monster in the field so you can go bananas with the combo pretty much your combo is to summon a link spider or test panther um on the first turn and combo out into the test panther test panther's effect to begin summoning two level uh, seven or higher monsters so that you can go ahead and bring out your Tamer Editor and Tamer Editor's effect to bring out a Domiti Anus and then also ultimately be sent to the graveyard for a link summon of Predator Plant Verte Anaconda so that we can bring back a monster from the grave, bring back the Tamer using one of these two cards and activate Tamer's effect to special summon a big negator again, then Verte Anaconda's effect to summon a red eyes Dragoon. So that's pretty crazy all on its own, but this is what I've been doing to clap, clap Master Rule Anime Cheeks, and I've been able to hold back the Eldritch and other rando decks. So let's take a look at some of the gameplay, my boy. So what I really love about this is the ranked PVP is best two out of three. So you can't really be salty with best two out of three, honestly. I'm, I'm not salty best two out of three. Cause I feel like at the end of the day, I tried my best and did what I had to do. So we're gonna start off with Rescue Rabbit, summoning two Andales, pop off the Andale for the Link Spider. Link Spider's effect summons a normal monster from the hand, dropping another Andale for Test Panther. Test Panther Link off, use the effect to switch out for Augustus. Augustus summons a Torix, a Torix drops Vespiaus, and then here's your Tamer Editor. Tamer Editor summons out your big effect negator, Verte Anaconda. Dragoon and Pass. Now what's amazing about this field is we have an effect negator, we have a Omni negate, and we also have attack direction change. So right now, he can't get through with anything. And I'll tell you on, I don't know if it's real Yu-Gi-Oh or this simulator or what, but everybody underestimates the Minty Anus and attacks right into it. And as you can see this field, Herc, Dragoon, Tamer, Dimitianus, boy, you out of here. It ain't nothing you can do. Now, best two out of three, we gotta run it back and get another game, my boy. That was pretty busted, but you know, we gotta give your boy one more shot at victory. So let's let's see what we can do right now, my boy. 
All right, here we go. The second game. Now I open up and it looks like I'm going second now because going first obviously is so oppressive. This man wouldn't even be able to get his plays off. What he's playing is a Mayakashi Eldridge deck where basically he's looking to summon all the Mayakashi monsters, set a bunch of traps so that he can summon his Eldridge cards and go absolutely nuts. Now, what's hilarious about this is I was literally playing this Mayakashi type deck in Duel Links, and <laughs> the disrespect I can understand. Mayakashi is funny clapping Mayakashi because it's easy. You gotta stop the monster in the graveyard, and that Mayakashi Link monster, when it dies, it's gonna start the Mayakashi Link chain going. So basically, what my goal here is, is to build my field up, summon out my negators, and basically go bananas because he won't be able to activate anything from his uh from his graveyard or back row um unless it's something that's gonna directly respond to or manipulate my cards and he doesn't have anything like that because a lot of people who play this game uh or so far from my very brief experience a lot of people play a lot of cards that service themselves versus affect the opponent so here's my negate for the Mayakashi. Destroying his monster made him take 19 damage. Here comes my direct attacks for game. See you later. No, sir. Gladiator Beast Heraklonos rejects that. No Eldritch for you. Die for me. This is the power of the TCG, my boy. I love playing my Gladiator Beast deck now that I've learned the new powers of Dragoon and using Rescue Cat and rescue rabbit in the same deck along with my world legacy strategy has been bringing me a lot of victories my boy so thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll be back with even more content in the future i make legacy of the duelist nah, not legacy of the duelist i make Yu-Gi-Oh. i make ygo omega content along with Yu-Gi-Oh duel links content here on this channel and i live stream twice a day that schedule's getting finalized, but yes, live streams twice a day, my boy. You heard it right here. You heard it first at the end of this video. But thank you so much for watching, my boys. And as always, keep it dang.